A few weeks ago, we bought the cheapest and most expensive mini bikes that we could find on Amazon, and we're gonna run them head to head. What's this? And see which one would be the better gift for someone. It's Christmas, dude. No, I was thinking we just race them head to head and just drag race them, like that's it. All right, fine. So we're gonna have a series of tests where each test is more intense than the previous, and the winner. <laughs> just, did you see this? No, I was just laughing at what you And said the before. winner gets to be in the loser's family Christmas card photo. And the loser not only has to explain to his wife <laughs> why this why his co-workers in the photo, but also to his friends and family why there's another man in their photo. And grandma. And grandma. <laughs> this might be your end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now now first we got to name these bikes. This is the Coleman CT100U. I say this is a really cool, awesome bike. I think a proper name for this bike would be Thor. Thor? Mighty Thor. Wow, aggressive. And it's an appropriate name. Now your bike, your bike is big and some people say it's quick. I don't think it's that fast. It is the Warrior uh, 200. So I think, I think manly names definitely fit this. Betty. Betty? Betty. That was the manliest name you could come up with? Yeah. All right, so Betty it is. <laughs> So the first time we raced these motorcycles, this one was, Betty was significantly faster, but then we deregulated this bike using some wires and some stuff, and then this one had a higher top speed. Now we deregulated this one with a zip tie, and let's go race them and see which one's faster. As we marched out to the bikes, we knew that this might be the most important race of our lives. But then Caleb got a phone call, and I got a text. So you beat me by hair, and I guess <laughs> I guess I'm one step closer to having to explain to my grandma of why there's another man in my Christmas card photo. Mm. And I'm a sand guy. Maybe um, we'll go to the beach, take some photos there. No, I hate the beach. Seashells, I don't, I don't, I don't mermaids. I don't want to do the beach. Oh nine. So any dad worth their salt getting their kid a present will have these things put together and have been riding them for a couple hours before, before the day they got to give it to their kid. Well, the fun dads will. The fun dads will. Yeah. The crummy dads will just be like, you put it together. <laughs> but the problem is you have to rewrap it for that night so your kid doesn't know what it is. So the competition is we have to wrap these things in a way that a child would not know that they're getting a mini bike. So if I don't know, then we're good because I have about the IQ of a child. Right. <laughs> There's the wrapping paper. Let's go. And as dads usually should, they should fight with other dads before Christmas. So my strategy is to make, obviously it can't look like a mini bike. So you gotta make it look like something that's very much not a mini bike. I'm thinking, make it look like a puppy dog. A puppy dog tail and then have like little like, like trunks that go like, make it look like it's a suffocating dog. <laughs> exactly. So I think I'm gonna make this look pretty awesome actually. I was gonna start by maybe doing something like this. But I think that might not work out too well for me. So yeah. the key here is to not have Another dad while next to you while you're wrapping these because they'll just ruin your wrap job. Woo! Damn. You thought you could get me. Now being a man, I take gift wrapping very seriously. It is truly a forgotten art. Uh, oh yeah. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. This is awful. How is this awful? This is the worst. It, 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 it's, it's humongous. It's gonna take up your entire living room. What kid doesn't love seeing a huge gift like this on Christmas? You, you're trying to convince your boy? You're getting him a giant, goofy looking dollhouse? Yo, this could be like, this could be like the imagination station. I don't know. It could be anything. It could be a tree house. What, what, what's wrong with the tree house? It belongs to the tree. Yeah, but we put it up in the tree later. We build it down here, put it up in the tree later. Could be a doghouse. It's huge. No kid, what well, kid doesn't love huge gifts? Very flimsy looking. No, it's so solid. I don't want to shake it because I don't want to. I don't want to make you feel bad. No, do not blow on it. Unlike Caleb, who spent all this time rapping, I spent all of my time thinking. Caleb's gift cannot move because it's taped to the floor and it's too fragile. 
That's why mine is the most perfect wrap job in the history of wrapping. It's not bad. It's freaking awesome. It's not bad. <laughs> Let me show you what I did. <laughs> what the heck is that? What are you talking about? That's not a gift. That's a gift. You were just making fun of mine and this is what you came up with? How much time do you have? How much time you got for making yours? It's not about the time, it's about the love Three hours? and how good it is. Four this hours? This has no love whatsoever. No one, they're not gonna, they're not gonna think it's uh, a mini bike. That, that's for sure. They definitely, it's a mini bike, but they'll definitely think it needs to go out along the side of the curb this every is Tuesday. This perfect. They're gonna be so tricked. They're gonna be so let down and then brought back up when they realize what it is. Yours, I don't know what they're gonna think when they get it. You're just gonna like, how are you gonna get out of it? You're just gonna pop it open and just kick it over like a trash can? Probably ride it out, yeah. <laughs> and I get a new trash can, that's, a, that's pretty cool. You're gonna get waste management to come and take this thing away? Make sure you don't put this out near, on your curb, you know, you'll get just throw your bike away. Well, you already threw your bike away. You have all this wrapping paper, just throw it back in there. It looks this so is perfect. bad. It looks... First of all, it takes, it, you, you, you've had hours doing this. I don't got that much time. This makes sense. You oh, gotta admit, this makes sense. It's horrible. Well, let, let's see, what, the, let's see what, uh, what other people think. So to see who the winner was, we showed pictures of these to some strange kids. What do you think that is? It's hard to say. Maybe dollhouse. What would you guess that one is? Trash can. What would you think that one is? Yeah, Christmas present. What do you think's in there? What do you think's in that present? Uh, little tiny Christmas tree. Little tiny Christmas tree? <laughs> Christmas tree that's what, laying uh, like that. What do you think's in this one? Uh, trash can with papers in it. Big book. Look like many bikes. Both rap jobs did their purpose well. So Thor and Betty both get a point. So obviously whoever gets these things is gonna want to unwrap them as fast as they possibly can and go out and play with them. So the next competition is who can unwrap their, their bike the fastest and then uh, be outside in the yard first. On your mark, get set, go. I think we need to race again because I was, I wasn't, I wasn't all there. It was not my my mind was not mm. right during the last race. So okay. the, we gotta go to the only place that you race when you're a, when you're a kid, and that's the uh, in front of the old abandoned building. I'm just a little confused though. Yo, what's up? Because that that doesn't look like the bike. No, it's, it's, it's the same bike. I, I mean, the motor looks completely different. No, same motor. It's got bigger forks on the front. Uh, yeah, same forks. Yeah, the same thing. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 100% the exact same bike as before. Just, uh, we're good. Okay. All right, so we're gonna race these bikes a quarter mile down the road, and the loser is one step closer from their wife being super annoyed at them. So if you're a kid, there's gonna be some point in time in your mini bike owning career where you rationalize the fact that you should be able to ride the bike inside inside the house. Like you're at an you're an expert level, and now you've gained the ability to ride it inside. We're gonna see which one does the most amount of damage inside on the carpet and then on the linoleum. So is this more for parents to know like which this is, one? This is more for the parents to know maybe which one you should not get. <laughs> this is also a good way for us to let the neighbors know who we are at our new studio. Since this is every kid's dream, the winner would be the bike that caused the most damage. But if you look at it from the parent's perspective, then the winner would be the person that caused the least damage. Unless of course you rent, and in this case, the parents will be right there with you with their Harley Davidson doing burnouts in the living room. But in this competition, the winner will be whoever causes the most amount of damage. And while I was doing this, I thought this would be a great time to remind you guys to subscribe. Sub Rod. Sub Rod. <laughs> it's hard to spell when you're, uh, <laughs> when you're bad at spelling. You probably shouldn't let your kids ride the mini bike inside the house. Well, I was going to say eat without utensils, but definitely ride the mini bike in the house. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> both bikes were extremely destructive and super awesome, so they both get a point. Let's be honest, the main thing you're gonna be doing with these mini bikes when you're not drag racing in the alleyway is you're gonna try to find an old door like we did, stack it up, and see if you can get the most air with it. You know the handle's still on that door, right? It's, a, it's an actual door. <laughs> no one will use any of though. So in this challenge, each rider gets three jumps and the longest jump, of course, wins. The problem is the door we borrowed is not rated for mini bike jumping. It's only rated for BMX bike jumping. So it might break. That was so lame. That was pretty awesome. It doesn't hurt that bad when you land. Nah, I got like no air in my tires, so it's just like, it's like a Cadillac when I land. Yeah. I'm scared that something might happen. I ran into his boat. Yeah, I think we're good. But we were not good enough. Although I'm one step closer to have Caleb answering awkward questions at his next family get together, I decided to stack up the boxes a little bit higher and just like Johnny Tsunami, go big or go home. And this was the moment I realized that mini bikes are amazing. A piece of the door actually broke off. Well, it's been a pretty good competition. Fantastic competition. But somehow, we are tied up. How the heck are we tied up? I don't know. So the only thing for us to do is a uh, drag race. All right, so to just let me get this straight. If I win this race, uh -huh. I am in your family photo. Correct. And you got to explain to your mom and your grandma and your dad right. and everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, I mean, why there's another man in your family photo. Yeah, I'm not concerned about that, though, because if I win the race, then you are in no, then I'm in your family photo, and you have to explain <laughs> to all of your family members as to why I'm in your family photo. I got enough kids. Mm -hmm. I'll just have you low enough. I'd be like, yeah, I've, had, I've had five kids, and no one will care. Oh, you trust know? me, I'm not going to blend in. <laughs> Is that what? That's not even your bike. No, no, it's the bike I've been riding the whole time. The bike you were riding was black. No, it's a, it's a chameleon paint color. So depending, depending, like from right here, it looks black. But from everywhere else, it looked red. So yeah, no, it's the same bike. That's a 420 Predator motor. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's, the, that's what comes in the cheapest Amazon. I, I, I could have sworn it was black and I could have sworn it had a way smaller motor. No, this is 100%, 100% stock, nothing aftermarket about it. That looks safe for kids. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is the one that they get the, the, you know, like the six to 12 year olds. All right, man. I, I, I guess I, I really didn't well, think it was that. Hold, hard. hold on a second. Hold on a second. That's it's this. This is your bike. Yes, yeah, Patty. I thought I thought your bike had a gasoline motor in it. There, this is a gasoline motor. This this right here is the old uh, old gasoline motor. I'm not gonna lie. It looks a lot like Gary bike. What's Gary? Like you know, Gary bike. No, no, no. This is the the Betty bike. It's right. not Gary, it's All Betty. Right. All right, All right. guess we gotta race. Close. I was so close. I even had a bad start. I had a horrible start, and I smoked you. Nah, dude. I I was so close, man. I can't believe I freaking topped out. And in a way, just how mini bikes are the gift that keeps on giving. So is this victory because people like to leave Christmas cards on their refrigerators for a long, long time. We'll see you guys next time. And thanks to uh, Go Power Sports for the kit that put this thing together. The most ridiculous little uh, mini bike on the planet.